Welcome to The Awakening. I'm your host, Caleb Leo. I'm so excited to have you tonight. This is exactly 10.30 p.m. on Tuesday, the 7th of May, 2019. I'm so excited and so happy to be alive today. And I'm going to be talking to you on the impossible. Anything is possible. Nothing is impossible. Everything is possible. Tonight in history, in the history of football, Liverpool have done the impossible. And as well, in this season as well, Tiger Woods did the impossible by winning a trophy after many years. A massive comeback and impossible feat. Now, the Bible in the book of Matthew chapter 19, verse 26, the Bible says, And Jesus looked at them and said to them, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. So Jesus saying, everything is possible with God. That is the first step. With men, these things may look impossible, but with God, anything at all you dare believe, anything at all you dare attempt to achieve is possible. So you must live with the possibility mentality. Jesus is saying that God is the determining factor that makes everything impossible. Now, now, now hold on, I'm not, I'm not done yet. In Mark, in the book of Mark, chapter 9, verse 23, the Bible says, Jesus said to them, if you can't believe, all things are possible to him who believes. If you can't believe. So all you need to do is believe. Your belief is your key to achieving the impossibility. Your belief is what you need. Your belief is a currency. It is your faith, your thrust in something. If you can believe and make attempts at it, all things are possible to him who believes. So everything, are there limitations in life? Are there things that look impossible that cannot be done? Things that look like it's over don't give up yet on yourself men may have given up on you circumstances might have given up on you the environment might have given up on you but you must never give up on yourself i tell you you must never give up on yourself it is very much possible you can still do it you can still come out from that obscurity you can still achieve that dream you can still achieve your goals it doesn't matter how old you are it doesn't matter how long you've tried peter fished all night he could catch nothing peter was a professional fisherman and he went fishing and he fished all night yet he caught nothing he tried all he knows how to do i know you know in, in, in according to fishermen fishes are usually more frequently found in the night and he did all his skills he caught nothing but during the day jesus came and said give me your boat i want to preach and peter offered him his boat and then jesus after preaching said peter launch into the deep let's let's cut some massive let's get some massive harvest Peter told him, Lord, I've, I've toiled all night, and I got nothing but yet at your word. Now Peter held on to that word, which he said, step out. And Peter stepped out, and he had a massive harvest that his boat could not contain. He had to call neighboring boat to come assist him. Now I tell you, if you can step out to an attempt that goal, you will achieve it. If only you can step out. You know, when the children of men decided to build the Tower of Babel in the Bible, God said, everything they've imagined in their heart they will achieve nothing can stop them the only way they can be stopped is by changing their language so they will not have an agreement but if they can agree anything if, if their imagination every single of one of them they would have achieved it and you know if god had not intervened these men we are ready to build the tallest building on earth men could have engineered it many years ago if men can believe something and they could go at it and they can attempt to achieve it and they will achieve it then anything you believe you will achieve all you need to do is take a step now if you've lost your dream over time if it looks like it's it's all over is injury time i tell you this you can try again don't give up yet don't give up yet you only feel the day you give up when you give up on life then you have failed so you must never be a failure it doesn't matter how much you've tried keep trying bible says a righteous man will fall seven times and then he will rise again seven times it doesn't matter if you've fallen seven times it doesn't matter if you've fallen eight times it doesn't matter if you failed over and over again just make sure you keep trying and tonight i tell you it is possible there is no impossibility with god if only you can believe it is possible all things are possible to those that believe i'm so excited you are here with me tonight god bless you richly now i'm looking forward to reaching out to you again in our next episode in the awakening thank you so much